Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is March 6th through 12th. Hello, hello, hello. So, um, as you can see, we're doing things a little bit differently for the weekly. Um, I'm going to jump right in. So, the first card that you have, Aquarius, is radical self-love. We can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. Hmm. Okay, this is feeling as though people do not understand you or what you've gone through, and you've gone through lots of changes. Um, honestly, I don't feel like they're going to stop anytime soon, okay? Um, but I feel like you're starting to move on. Um, you're starting to get control of um, like your energy and, and your well-being and, and trying to kind of move forward from things. The thing that's very interesting is you find something of inspiration. There's something that seems like it was just handed to you by, by the gods, you know. Um, and that is really giving you some inspiration or some sort of insight on change or on what it is that you've been going through. Um, and it really is to help you kind of move forward past what it is that you've been through it could have been someone very important uh, someone spiritual i don't know why it feels like insight with all these wands but it does it feels like a new day like something has given you inspiration to move forward like full force like something to believe in, something inspirational to help you get through a struggle that you've been going through. Um, and now it's like you're better equipped, Aquarius, and ready to go. You're like, okay, I see where I am and I'm ready to keep pedaling. So I'm seeing you like on a bike and you stop because there's mud and you're tired and you're like, oh, I'm going to have to pedal so fast to get through this mud. And then something inspires you like, hey, there's a buffet at the, <laughs> at the end. And then you're like, oh, you've got that energy to keep moving forward. That's what it feels like in your life this week. Yeah. You're realizing how good you kind of have it. Um, things could be worse. It's like if you want a new beginning, you're going to have to make some decisions. You're going to have to accept some things in order to move forward. And it's like even though something is hard to hear or hard to process, I still feel like it's what you needed to get you moving through the difficulties that you've been going through, even though it's not fun. You know, it's not a fun situation. Yeah, it's like moving forward from the past. You know, it's kind of like you had something that you loved or that was perfect for you in a way, and you lost it, and that makes you sad. Um, but you got to get, like, you got to get excited about your future. You have to get excited about moving forward and about what's to come in, like, the next phase of your life. So it's I feel like you're learning to heal, you're learning to accept, you're learning. Some of you are even learning how to live with like not a lot of money as well. That's a really random thing, but I feel that. Okay, so then we have milestone here and events. Ooh. This week, I feel a lot of change coming in, um, but this is a different type of change. This is like healing. This is like physical world change, okay? Um, I feel like you have to move on from something. This could be a relationship as well. Um, I, I feel like you're trying to find comfort 
in someone not being there anymore. And I'm going to sum it up as that. Someone not being there. Um, You realize how much this person has done by the sense of responsibility and like the overall heaviness that you feel with them being gone. It could be that they've done a lot and it could be that you're just so burnt out from thinking about how sad this makes you feel or how much things have changed around you that it feels really heavy on you. But you are realizing that it's like it's time to move on from this. You know, it's time to take charge. It's time to learn how to do things for yourself. (laughs) I I get the vibe of being more independent, okay? Yeah, you are realizing how much someone did for you or how much you really didn't set yourself up for the future, whichever one resonates with you. Um, And because this person is gone or because they're away, um... It's like instead of thinking about what you can't do and it would be nice if they would be back or anything like that, it's like, okay, I need to get myself together and I need to be able to do these things for myself. So it's sort of an awakening and a wake up call for you, Aquarius. And then we have prayer feather. You're not feeling appreciated in a business situation or a work career situation. You're not feeling appreciated. Um, It's almost like they're trying to help you or give you recognition or give you something. And you're like, but that's not what I want. It almost feels like they're giving you sort of just enough to keep you around because you are useful or really good at your job. So it's like they're trying to give you something, but you don't want it. It's not making you happy. And it could be that you're just emotional during this time. Um, But the, the main thing that I'm seeing from here is please pay attention that they are trying to work with you. Okay. Um, because I feel like, I feel like they want to keep you around. There may be someone at your job that actually likes you as well. Um, Because I just see someone trying to sacrifice for you. Like maybe confess or admit something. Um... I feel like they're trying to help you. This doesn't feel negative at all, but I don't see you seeing it. Yeah, you're so focused on your own life, your own work, and like it's like you're just trying to get it done and go home. Um, Yeah, it looks like someone's trying to offer you a position. But all you're seeing is more work and you don't want more work. You don't want to be sort of trapped in this cycle of work or responsibility. But know that it could really help you in the long run, especially with money issues. Okay. Yeah, you need to be more positive. It's so interesting, Aquarius, because I feel like Little do you know, your vibes are radiating out to bring you what exactly you need, but I feel like you're ignoring it (laughs) because you're like, I'm not ready or I don't want this, but it's what you need. It's hard to explain, but other than that, okay? I love you and I'll talk to you later. (laughs) See you next week. Bye-bye.